this is Walter, my blue tongue skink. He is a white and sunset, bred by Ray Gergi from Thunder Bay Herps down in Florida. And I picked him up at Repticon here in Nashville this past February. He's still very skittish, so I'm not going to take him out and handle him. He's about nine months old now. And I'm surprised he's sit there as long as he has. He's getting a little bit more used to me. I'm just taking it very slow with him. But I just wanted to show him off. He's so pretty. He's not long out of a shed. I don't know if you can actually see his colorings or not. He's got very light orange on his side. And he's, his belly is white. I've been working with him slowly since I've had him. I've only actually handled him one time other than when I first brought him home and took him out of his container and put him in his tank. Very pretty. And I can tell he's getting more used to me just because he hasn't taken off yet. But you can see by his breathing that he's a little stressed because I'm pointing the camera at him probably. He's so cute. Yeah, it's alright. I don't know if it is a male or female, but he looked like a Walter to me. He, she. So that's what I named him. He's really cute. I know you're not going to be able to see it on the video, but his eyelids are purple. And he's going to take off, so I'm going to show you his enclosure while I've got the camera down here. That rock, which I can see there's poop on. It's not actually a rock, it's a piece of petrified wood. And that is his basking rock. And he's got a 50 watt heat bulb right there. And up in the top, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it from the glare, but there is a UVB tube up there. The tile here has a heat mat under it. There's actually two tiles with the heat mat sandwiched in between. And I have a thermostat on the heat mat, and it's set at 90 degrees, I believe. I did put some rubber feet between the two tiles to keep them from smashing the heat mat together. In the back, you can see there's just a drainage pipe that's used for a tunnel slash hide with the plant on top of it to kind of hide it because it's ugly. And down at this end of the tank, the substrate is very shallow just because I didn't want it covering the the tiles with the heat on it. So let's close this side up and we'll show you the other side. And if you look, if the glare is not too bad, you can see that as we get down to this end of the tank, the substrate is much deeper. And there's Walter peeking out of his tunnel. It's about four inches deep down here. I know it doesn't look like it, but the bottom is actually lower than the front of the, the enclosure. But it is about four inches deep, and this is the end where he typically burrows. You can see right there, he goes in there sometimes, and there's also a, another burrow over here that he goes under the substrate. I just put some food in there, and that may be why he came down to this end, so he can eat. I always keep a dish of just dry food in there and then about every other day I feed him some wet food with some vegetables mixed in it. So that is his enclosure. Sorry about the glare. He looks very suspicious. 
such a little cutie pie. Yep, there he goes. Okay, we're going to leave him alone for now. I'll give you one last glimpse of his enclosure. Just a basic setup. And he's peeking at the other end. <laughs>